The first car bomb exploded at a military checkpoint. Soldiers and civilians among the dead. Moments later, a second explosion, also a car bomb. Bodies were scattered on the street, just a few hundred meters from the Somali presidential residence in Mogadishu. I was at the scene of the attack. At first I saw a vehicle driving back and forth. Then we tried to stop people walking here and there. And then within the blink of an eye, the vehicle exploded, causing havoc. Police say government officials had been traveling in the area earlier in the day. Now the road is covered with charred cars and debris. The wind explosion is uh, today happening in Mogadishu, Somali capital. And the first explosion was a suicide bomber and targeted a security checkpoint at uh, the National Theater near Mogadishu's uh, Som Somali presidential palace. And then government officials is uh, stationed at, at the area, and it is a very guarded place. Mogadishu is often targeted by the al-Qaeda-linked group al-Shabaab. Its members want to dislodge the government and impose Islamic law. The group maintains a foothold in some regions of Somalia, but was forced from Mogadishu in 2011. Thousands of Somalis have died in this divisive decade-long battle, many of them civilians. Katia Lopez-Sudoyan, Al Jazeera.